for calling Crocs. Hi, I'd like to buy a pair of the Croc cowboy boots, please. You were calling about the classic cowboy boot, is that correct? Yes, that's right. Oh, I'm sorry, but we're completely sold out. Oh, um, okay. I hope you have a croctacular day. Crocs wouldn't give me my precious boots, so I made my own. Now, here's the twist. I'm no ye old shoe cobbler, and I know it's hard to believe, but I don't work at a sheen factory either. I'm just a guy. A guy who wanted to croc some boots. So, I took matters into my own hands, and my hands hurt. A lot. Little did I know where this journey for croc treasure would take me. So if for some reason you've been living under a croc or something, and you haven't heard this already, on October 23rd, 2023, Crocs released their state-of-the-art version of a cowboy boot. The boot was equipped with two gibbets charms, including a 2023 Cowboy Duke gibbets. <clears throat> if I have to say gibbets one more time, I think I'm gonna croc myself. <clears throat> so for a limited time only, this beautiful specimen of a shoe was exclusively sold online and retailed for 120 US dollars. And get this, one of the coolest things about it is it sold out on the first day. Kick up a bit of dust and gear up for the Crocs Classic Cowboy Boot. So this is what it said on their website, but I actually can't prove it to you because the link doesn't exist anymore. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it. But if you wanna buy it from a third party retailer and not from the Croc himself, it only cost $480. Oh All I was trying to do was spend my hard earned cash on some classic Croc Cowboy Boots and walk around like a little cowboy with some goddamn gibbets. Ah! So after further review of this bespoke design, and by further review, I mean looking at it for about 30 seconds, I decided it can't be that hard to make, right? It's just a top of a cowboy boot affixed to some cracks. I might as well give it a go, and plus, I'm probably gonna save some money. I mean, there's no way this is gonna cost $120, or better yet, 480. Four months and $437.56 in the end. Uh... Looking at this one or that one? Just right there, that, it's good? Okay. So, uh, I'm just curious, was it worth it? I mean, losing everything, all in an attempt to recreate a vapid amalgamation of plastic and fabric. Yeah. It was. Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Crocs. Today I'm gonna to be showing you everything you need to make your very own cowboy croc boot. Let's ride. Ingredient one, two tablespoons of going to your local thrift store and finding these very specific slipper croc things. Quick side note, the fact that I was able to find actual croc branded boot slippers at my local Goodwill, I mean, it, it, it was God sending me a sign saying, hey, here you go, make some croc boots, dear little bin. Ingredient two, get some faux crocodile leather. Please do not go hunt and kill your own crocodile to get its skin. Just buy these, I promise they're a lot better and less murdery. Ingredient three, these 3D printed croc spurs. I'm pretty certain that these were made to go on the sports mode strap on crocs. I will put the name of the person making them right here. Ingredient four, crocs. Bet you didn't see that one coming. And that sums up about everything you need to cook your very own croc cowboy boots. Just these simple four ingredients. Is what I would have said if I was recording this prior to trying to make them. Because later, I found out that you also need a staple gun, staples, sewing string, random fabric that I found in the trash, a box cutter, pliers, a printer, Velcro straps, and about 17 needles and a bunch of band-aids. Or for my British viewers, Plasters. We're gonna be cutting the crock boot. I got this for 11, 10 dollars So, I'm just gonna start cutting into it. The plan was simple. Just cut off each top of the slipper boots, then sew them onto the crocs. 
After that, I would cut the faux leather into fitted templates, then either glue or probably sew them around the seam of where the boot and croc were connected. Look at that, a little shoe. So basically, we have the croc here. This is gonna go, we're gonna have the croc boot like that, and then put our little spur on like this. And then I'm going to basically get all this bit kind of stitched up and then crops, crops, crops. Yeah, I don't really know what I was thinking in this moment. I thought I could somehow replicate that beautifully stitched boot, doing it by hand with no sewing experience. Obviously, I didn't do that. So, um... There was an entire movement against him that turned into a new... <laughs> Believe it or not, but if you're using hot glue in a very cold garage in the middle of the winter, it uh, doesn't seem to work too well. No! All right, so I don't wanna to get too discouraged. I'm gonna to try to set up another needle. So I decided to go ahead and just start trying to sew the boot onto the croc. Now, you can probably tell from this clip, but it is really tough to shove a needle not only through a canvas boot, but also the rubber of a crock. This is when things started to get a little too frustrating. Oh my god. So when that inevitably did not work either, I found this piece of fabric and decided to staple it onto the crock. The plan was to sew the boot onto the piece of fabric, thus making a croc boot. If I haven't made this clear already, I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, I have never even come close to trying to create an article of clothing, much less a boot with a croc couple to it. And to keep this video interesting and drive up my retention rate on YouTube, I thought it'd be more fun if I just didn't do any research and not look up a single thing that would help make this endeavor a little bit easier. Except one thing, and that was how to thread a needle. After I knew that, I became a sewing pro. Ow. Oh my god. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> no! <laughs> Broke it. I'm telling you, the amount of times that I drove an unsterile needle straight into my finger got a little bit ridiculous after the 19th time. Which makes the rest of this process a little bit harder when your tiny little pinners have a bunch of holes in them. Needle after needle, I kept asking myself, what the hell am I doing? I mean, can I even do this? Will this just be another project that sounds like a lot of fun and then you start doing it and then you just never finish it? Yeah, it, it was. It, it was too hard and I couldn't figure out how to finish these. I gave up. I'm sorry guys, if, if you thought this video was me showing you how to make completed croc boots, I'm sorry to disappoint, but I, I couldn't do it. I, I mean, I couldn't even look at these crocs anymore. Every night, visions of gibbets dancing in my head would haunt me. Days turned into weeks, weeks turned into about a month, but then something. Something I could have never imagined came knocking on my door. An opportunity that, if they're lucky, only comes once in a man's life. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally free. All right, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. All right, see you soon. It's not a real phone. The job. Fly across the country to Arizona to deliver a U-Haul truck full of coffee roasting equipment back to an undisclosed location. And that's when it hit. How am I supposed to go to the land of cowboys without my cowboy croc boots? I'd be a fraud. My whole purpose of making these boots changed in that very moment. Making these boots transformed from just a little side project into a necessity. I had to get these done, no matter how hard the road in front of me was. How long did I have? Five days. You know what that means. 
All right, first things first, I gotta get this fabric on. I'm gonna staple that straight into the croc and then sew it together in the back. Sweet, done. All right, let's put this boot on. Okay, it won't fit. Let's cut it in half and I'll figure out how to put it back together later. Don't have much time. Perfect, attaching the boot top to the fabric was much, much easier. Things are going well. Next, let's print out some templates to cut the fabric into. Whatever, looks good enough. Gonna stitch up the seam where I cut the boot in half. Okay, cool, looks good. Now I still need to make sure this stays on my leg, so let's sew some Velcro straps on. Running out of time. Putting this faux leather on the back, and honestly, I think it looks cooler without the leather on the front. Wait, I think I'm done. Oh, these? These are my Croc cowboy boots. To the town of U-Haw City flew a cobbler one fine day. Hardly knew what he was doing. Didn't have that much to pay No one dared to ask his business No one dared to make a slip For the cobbler there among them Brought a crop boot on his trip Crop boot on his trip It was early in the morning When he drove on to the town he came hauling from the west side, not, not a ship that was around. He's a cowboy loose and cunning, came the whisper from each lip. And he's here to film a video with, with a crop boot on his trip. Crop boot on his trip. In this park just south of Utah by the name of Old White Sands. Many men had tried to crock there, and that many men had fled. He had staples and faux leather, and the needle of 24, and the punctures in his fingers numbered one and 19 more. One and 19 more. Well, I did it. After four grueling months, I became a croc cowboy. Were my boots perfect? No. Did I have a fun time making them? Not really. But one thing I learned is it's not always about the journey. Sometimes it's about the destination. And I had reached my stop. But I don't really think this was about what I learned. I think it's more about what croc should learn. Dear Mr. Andrew Rees, CEO of Crocs, next time you make a small, limited amount of croc cowboy boots, don't send the majority of them to a bunch of influencers who will wear them once, post a TikTok, and then throw them in their closet never to be seen again. Send them to people like me. People who will wear them all the time and truly appreciate them for what they are. The ugliest pair of shoes I have ever seen. Hey Crocs, send me my boots. Hey.